In each one of these, we want to add and subtract fractions. So remember, if you want to add or subtract fractions, you need the denominators to be the same. So if I want to make the denominators the same, one strategy is just to think, what do I need to put with the four to make it the same as this one? Well, this one would need an X with it, and then they would end up being the same. So in other words, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator here by X, and then the denominator is 4X. But what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So one times X is X and four times X is four X. So I have X over four X. I haven't done anything to this fraction. So I'm gonna bring that down, the five and the four X. But notice now the denominators are the same Let's think back to just adding fractions with numbers. If I had one over five plus two over five, I have three over five. So you're just combining what's in the numerator over the common denominator. So we're gonna have over four X and X plus five in the top. Okay, so then I'm almost done here. We have two more examples. If you can hold your conversations just until I'm done. In this one, I need those to be the same again. So to make these ones the same, five, if I could put a seven with it, I'd have a five and a seven. And in the bottom here, the seven, if I put a five with it, I'd have a five and a seven and they would be the same. So I, I wanna put a seven with the five, and I wanna put a five with the seven, then my new denominators would be 35. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So if I'm gonna multiply the denominator by seven, I'm gonna also multiply the top by seven and seven times C is seven C. Seven times five gave me the 35, and if I multiply the denominator by five, I also need to multiply the numerator by five, and six times five is 30. So my final fraction is going to be over 35, the common denominator, and then I'm gonna combine these ones. So I have 7C minus 30 for my numerator, and we're finished. Okay, here, again, our goal is to make these the same, and this one's made out of five times B, and this one's made out of three. So if I could put a three with five B, this one, it only has a three, so let's put with the three a five B, then this denominator is three times five times B, and this denominator is also three times five times B. So one way to think of it is, what does this one need that that one already has and vice versa? Okay, so if I do that, three times five times B is 15 B, so the denominators of my new fractions are gonna be 15B. Whatever I do to the bottom, I'm gonna to have to do to the top. So let's multiply the eight by three, and I get 24. I multiply this one by 5B. So again, what I do to the bottom, I've gotta to do to the top. So I'm gonna multiply the top there by 5B as well and seven times five times B is 35 B. Okay, so lastly, now that I have a common denominator of 15 B, I can go ahead and add those tops together. So I have 24 plus 35 B, and I have my answer. Now, if you wanted to write 35 B plus 24 over 15 B, same thing.